Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Nice. Thank you. Nice to see you one more time. Uh, let's see. We are 12, 11 participants. Let's wait for the rest of the people that will be joining the meeting. Okay, so nice uh, during the meantime, so that we are, you know, waiting for the rest of the classmates that we have right here joining this meeting. So thank you uh, for um, your cameras, right? For the ones that are already with the camera on. And that's nice that you have full name in the app. Let's see, yeah, all of you, very good, very nice. Um, let's see, uh, we are about to start. This is the second section, right? Yesterday was the very first day and today is the second one. So welcome, you already know me, uh, at least if you were not here, there were like three people missing yesterday, right? So probably, probably they don't know me, but then the rest, you already know my name, okay, and everything. So um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Brian, Steve, how are you, Brian, Steve? How are you today? I am fine. <laughs> okay. I am, mm -hmm. I am glad to, uh, to see you tomorrow, uh, today. <laughs> Okay, you are glad to see me and see our classmates, right? So today, very nice, uh, Brian. Uh, very good, let's see, um, Janet, Jacqueline. What about you, Janet, Jacqueline? How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Um, okay. A little uh, tired. <laughs> okay, a little bit tired. Probably yes. because of your job, because of yes, all the activities, right, that we complete during the date. But it's nice, uh, Jacqueline, that you are doing the effort to be, you know, here in the in the class. Uh, let's see, um, let's see, Edgar Fernando. What about you? What can you tell us? How you feel today? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Already good. Okay, you are fine. You are good. Okay. Remember, uh, this is a very basic question, right? So at the beginning, at the very beginning of every English course, right? Uh, the teacher says, how are you? So that's the greeting, right? So that's like the beginning. Okay. So we are uh, pre-intermediate, right? So we are not basic level. So when we have the question, how are you? Of course, it's okay to say, I'm, I'm very good, okay? Or the typical answer, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine, okay? I'm not saying that it's wrong. It is correct, but there are different ways to answer that question, right? No solamente vamos a decir, I'm fine. There are many, many options, okay, that we can, that we can uh, use to answer that question. I don't know if someone here have a different answer. Can you share like a different answer besides I'm fine? I'm very well. Brenda, Isabel, I am very well. Okay, that's good. What else? What else? Volunteers, volunteers. If we don't have volunteers, we will have victims. Uh-huh. Different ways to answer the question, how are you? Okay, I'm, just, <clears throat> uh -huh. sorry, I'm so, so. I am a so, so, or am so, so. Okay, it's a valid answer. Yes, Edgar, very nice. It is an answer. Uh -huh. Wonderful. 
Okay, Elisa, I am wonderful. Very nice. What else? Mass, mass, mass. More, more. A little bit more answers. Uh -huh. Volunteers. I am happy. Okay, Elisa, very nice. I am happy. Jennifer. I am tired. Okay, unfortunately, that's like a negative answer, but it's an answer, right? So how are you? How you feel? A little bit tired. It's okay. What else? What else? Uh huh. Uh, Brian. Um, I am doing well. Okay, very nice. I am doing well. Okay, so that would be like the ing answer, right? I'm doing well. So what's going on, right? So that's a different question. What's going on? I'm doing well. Nice. What else? More. Let's see, Benjamin Alejandro. I'm okay. I am okay. Nice. Janet Jacqueline. I am very good. I am very good. Cesar Alexander. Good evening, teacher. I'm very tired. Working oh my very goodness. Hard all day. <laughs> you are very tired because you are been working the whole day. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, Carlos William, what about you? How you will answer the question? How are you? I find I I little work in my day. Okay, you are fine. Okay, you are fine. That's okay. Ana Patricia. Good evening, teacher. I am fine, but I uh, a little bit, a little bit tired. Okay. Oh my goodness, most of the people, it's tired right here. Oh my God, stress. We need to do exercise, something to be ready for the class. Okay. Nice. Okay, so different ways to answer. So tomorrow, we have class tomorrow. By the way, this is like the commercial, right? We have class tomorrow, okay? No parrandita mañana. O bueno, después de las nueve, sí. Pero we have class, right? So we have Yo class. No estoy de conectarme mañana, you are not able to be connected, Benjamin? Sí, es que mañana vamos a hacer el velorio de mi abuelo. Ah, okay, okay, no problem, eh, Benjamin. Me, me conectaré, tendré como oyente, pero no estoy muy seguro que pueda porque como a las ocho me vamos a ir. Okay, okay, thank you for letting me know, Benjamin, no problem. Okay, so, nice, so we have class tomorrow, right? So I will mention this uh, at the end of the class, okay? So most of us will be in the meeting because we still have people missing right now. We have 19 participants and we are 26. So, um, so tomorrow I'm going to ask you one more time the question, right? So tomorrow I will ask you one more time the question, how are you? And try to answer with something different. Yo no digo que si usted me contesta, I'm fine, está malo. I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm saying that we are uh, intermediate on the level, right? So I'm fine. It's a very basic, basic, basic answer. So at this point, at this level, so we need to answer a little bit different. Like, oh, you know what? I feel amazing. I am, I'm wonderful. Uh, I feel okay. You know, uh, it was like a busy day, but I'm extremely ready for the class. So, you know, a little bit more um, like different words, right? To be the meaning, the same meaning, but in different words, that's the idea. So let's see, um, let's see, Claudia Itzel. Claudia Itzel, what dates today, Claudia? What day it's today? Um, me está preguntando sobre cómo estuvo mi día o qué tal fue mi día. No, not really. Listen one more time. What day is today? Is today um 
Thursday is a night. No. It's a Thursday. Okay, okay. Nine, yeah. Nine, you nine, get the night. Okay, nine. Nine. January um two two hundred twenty three. Okay, okay, you get the you get the, the question, right? So you, you got it, but let's see one more time. Let's see one more time. Let's ask to Allison, Allison Daniela. The same question, Allison. What day it's today? It's Thursday. Okay, very nice. Today is Thursday. Tuesday, that will be Martes, right? Thursday. 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 That's a TH. Okay. Uh, remember the TH sounds. Sorry. So the TH, right? So Tuesday, that will be Martes. So today is Thursday. Okay. Usted tiene que... Sacar esa pronunciación de la TH, right? Si usted hace así como smiling, no me está pronunciando correctamente la TH, ¿ok? Tiene que hacer así como que saca la lengua, ¿verdad? Thursday, Thursday. Si usted me dice Thursday, mire, no sale, ¿ok? So, today is Thursday. Muy diferente, mire, Tuesday, Thursday. Big difference, it's not the same. Very nice, Alison. Now, let's see if I ask you the question to um, Barbara, Alejandra. If I ask you the question, what's a today date? So how you will answer, what's today date? Uh, it's day, today is 19, 10, uh, 10, uh -huh. July. Okay, okay, you get the question, okay? That's important, okay? You understand what is the question about. Let's see, uh, Jennifer, help us, help us. Jennifer, what's today date? Today is Thursday, January 19, 2022. 23, <laughs> okay, 23, <laughs> new year. <laughs> okay, nice, okay, that's the, 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 the answer, right? So what day is today? Today is Thursday, simple like that. But if I ask you what's today date, so that will be the whole day, right? Oh, today is Thursday, January 19th. Okay, 19th, lleva una TH. Eso, ahí creo que alguien lo está escribiendo. That will be, uh, William, my goodness, thank you, William. You are so nice. You put it in the chat, right? So it's there in the chat, okay? Very nice. So we say the day, we say the, the, the month and also the year. Ah, okay, today is Thursday, January 19th, DH, okay, DH, no 19, 19, no, okay, 19th, that's the date. Uh, the year it's 2022, 23, my God, 2023, okay? So, usted puede decir 2023, 2023, okay? So, this is not part of the class, okay? This is like extra information, okay? So, at this point, usted, el día que le pregunten, usted tiene que contestar qué día es, qué mes, qué año, y todo, right? So, eso es información básica. So, now that we are almost... Um, complete right here in the 
in the meeting, so I'm going to pass the attendance, right? So remember that I have to pass the attendance in twice. So let me pass the attendance first, and then we are going to continue. Just let me open right here the file. Okay, so Thursday 19 right here. So please uh, let me know if you are here, Alison Daniela. Alison, I guess, yes. Hola. Okay, nice. Anna Marisol. Nice. Anna Patricia. Present teacher. Nice. Barbara Alejandra. Barbara, it's there. Uh, let's see, Benjamin, Alejandro. I'm here. Nice, Benjamin. Brenda, Adriana. Present. Nice. Um, um, Brenda, Isabel. Present, teacher. Nice. Uh, Brian, Steve. Present. Nice. Carlos William. Present teacher. Nice. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Present. Nice. Uh, Claudia Itzel. Ipsel, praise that. Uh, Present me. Nice. Cristina America. Cristina. No. Uh, let's see. Um, Daniela Magali. Present. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, Edgar Fernando. Present teacher. Nice. Just let me see right here. Daniela Magali. Yeah. So America is the one that didn't answer, right? Okay. So Elsie Patricia. Elsie Patricia. No está Elsie. Um, Freddy Jose. Freddy, no. Eh, Gabriela Maria. Hola, hola, ¿me escuchan? Gabriela. No. Eh, Griselda Lisette. Hola, hola. Sí, verdad, me están escuchando, pero creo que todas estas personas yes. no, no están. Ok, y veamos quién más me falta por acá. Aquí este lo han eliminado. Iris Janet. Present teacher. Ok, nice. Eh, Ivania Stephanie. Ivania Stephanie, no. Jacqueline Liliana. Jacqueline Liliana. No, my goodness, se me corrieron. Janet Jacqueline. Ahí es ahí está. Ahí es el teacher. Nice. Janet Carolina. Present teacher. Nice. Jennifer Noemi. Present teacher. Okay, very nice. So let me see right here. Okay, so I have the attendance right here. So we do have Nissan. No, no, Miss. <gasps> Elisa Areli. Oh my goodness. Déjeme ver, Elisa Areli. Pero sí tiene asistencia. Sorry. My mistake es que esta letra que hacen aquí como que es para un... alguien que ve bien. Y hasta ahora yo ya no miro. O sea, si lo hago grande, no alcanzo a ver dónde pongo la asistencia. Se lo veo bien pequeñito la letra ya. 
Ah, no veo, necesito la, el doble. Sorry, but you have the attendance, Elisa. No problem, okay? So nice. And also, you know that we are going to validate, right, the attendance. Um, one more time at the end. So let's see, let's start. Now we are almost complete. So uh, let's see, yesterday was the very first day. So we all were here, I guess. And so we know everything that we mentioned, right? General info, details important about the activities. So today we received different message in the WhatsApp group. If you pay attention on the information, we have a picture right there uh where we can see how we are going to be working in the platform right ahí lo mandan semana uno semana dos como yo solo se expliqué el día de ayer y ahí nos mandaron a decir ya que por favor estemos trabajando en la plataforma eso ya usted lo sabe pero hay que mencionarlo para que usted después no diga a mí no me dijeron right so please do your part so uh yesterday we start right so we start with the manual you know that we are going to complete this part that we have right here uh let me share right here uh the screen really quick and here we go so this is the fur uh the first um section that we have how often do you exercise and um we have like people right here in the conference that they don't they don't really like sports right probably because of the time because of the activities so we don't really have time so um Let's see, let's see. I'm going to ask random questions. Ana Marisol, do you like sports, Ana Marisol? Yes, I like sports. Okay, yes, I do, right? So that will be yes, I do, okay? So, mm -hmm, I like it, sports, okay? So, yes, I do, I like sports. We have different sports, right? So right here we have the top uh, five sports and fitness activities, okay, in the US. Remember that this book is uh, an American book, right? So aquí no va a salir El Salvador en el libro. O sea, este es un libro americano. So el contenido casi siempre lo trae como para the US, right? So this is an American book. So US is the the country that we will be uh, talking. Of course, we can, you know, uh, change it into our culture, right? But uh, let's see. Uh, and Brenda, Adriana, it says that you have problems with the audio. I don't know, Brenda, Adriana, if you have a better audio because no sé si me escuchan mal o los demás si me escuchan bien. Esto fue hace ratos. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. So nice. Let's see sports. Uh William, please help us read the sports that we have right here. Uh Carlos William I don't know, like a sport. Okay, no problem. Uh, Carlos, just help me right here with the reading. Read the sports that we have right here. Just read it. Okay. Uh, do you like uh, basketball? Um, no, just read the sports, William. Read it. The sport. How do you? How do you like uh, basketball? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, listen to to the, the the instruction, Carlos. Read the sports, the list right here that we have here in the book. Just read all these sports. No teacher. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning oh, of? No. Uh -huh. What is the meaning of the verb read, Carlos? Read. Oh, no. Read, el verbo leer, William. El verbo leer. Please 
read the sports that we have right here. Uh -huh. okay. yeah, hay que leer. Muy bien. Go ahead, uh, William. Mm, basketball, volleyball, softball, football, soccer. Okay, nice. Very good, Carlos. Okay, so we have five sports right here. Basketball, volleyball, softball, football, soccer. Okay, so I already sent a picture right there in the WhatsApp group with more sports. Aquí solo hay cinco, okay? But you can learn more words, okay? So probably from the list, you already uh, know some of the sports, but probably there are some sports right there that you don't know. Please look for those words, okay? No, no, no solo, mire, ¿y esto qué es? Mire, ¿y esto qué? Uh, que lo trate de download. You have a smartphone, right? So you have a computer, you have a tablet, you have whatever. So you can download a dictionary or an application, right? A good dictionary online, and you can search vocabulary, right? If you have an English, English, <coughs> Dictionary will be better, ok? So, pueden descargar una aplicación de diccionario virtual. Si fuera inglés, inglés, fuera mejor. Ok? So, look for the words. That would be like a personal homework, right? Yo no le voy a preguntar, mire, busco las palabras mañana. No le voy a preguntar, sino que usted hágalo. ¿verdad? Mire, para que yo no tengo tiempo. No la busque todas. Vea cinco que usted tal vez no conoce y busque esas cinco, el sábado, el domingo, cuando tenga tiempo, busca otras, right? So, but you have to do something, okay? So, no, no, um, no se quede como, ay, saber qué es eso, okay? So, look for the words that you don't know, okay? So, we have more sports there. Then we have right here fitness activities. So, let's see, uh, Brenda, it's a belt. Help me out, please read the fitness activities that we have right here. Uh, repeat. Um, yeah, Brenda, Isabel, help me out with the reading. Read these um, fitness activities. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Go ahead. Brenda Isabel, please. Que se frizó, Brenda. Um, yeah, Freddy, we've already passed the attendance, but we will validate the attendance at the end. Oh, okay, eh, Brenda. No uh -huh. Yeah, I see it, I see it. No problem, so le va a ayudar. Uh, let's see, Daniela Megali. So Daniela Megali, help us, please. Uh, okay. Read the activities, a uh, fitness activity. Daniela Magali? Yeah. Uh, weight training, treating, stretching, walking, and jogging. Okay, very nice. So these ones are fitness activities. ¿Cuáles son las fitness activities? Creo que alguien tiene ahí el micrófono eh, abierto. Verifiquen ahí. Sí, yo ya me escucha. Now, yes, yes, I can hear you, but you have like difficulties with the connection, but don't problem, no problem, Brenda, it's okay. Let's see, aha, fitness activities. Fitness es una palabra que ya la usamos como que en español, ¿verdad? O sea, eh, me siento bien fit, bien fit, le dice. Ay, que estoy haciendo. So ya la, ya la usamos como en el español, ya la entendemos, right? So, but fitness activities, so son all the activities that you do to be on shape, okay, in a good weight. So, weight training, what would be weight training? ¿Qué entiende usted por weight training? ¿No? ¿Entrenamiento con pesas? 
Okay. So that would be it, right? So that means go to the gym. You go to the gym and you use different machines and you uh, pull the different weights up down. So that would be weight training. Then we have treat and milk. So what would be that? Mm -hmm. Treadmill. Janet? Como hacer ejercicio en la caminadora. Mm -hmm. eh, la elíptica, por ejemplo, es como una, tiene como no es bicicleta, pero tiene unas rueditas ahí que giran, right? So that would be a treadmill, okay? Es eh, como calentamiento, no sé cómo se le llama, trote a eso. It is, that would be the treadmill. Then we have stretching. So what would be stretching? Uh -huh. No? Un ejercicio de estiramiento. De estiramiento. estiramiento. Right, so you listen, stretch your uh, body. Empieza usted. Ay, en la mano, la so that would be stretching. Then walking, it's clear, right? So walking and jogging, right? So la famosa yoga, right? So jogging, that would be a, is a activity for fitness. So let's continue, okay? So we have right here sports, but uh, as I already shared with you, a uh, list. So ahí hay más. Uh, sorry for this. I don't know why the picture is kind of messy right here sorry okay so let's see this is a conversation that says i hardly ever exercise that's good for this the same as this group right now normally most of us we don't do exercise right so hardly ever so what is a hardly ever what grammar it is grammar Where is this one? ¿Quién se acuerda de eso? ¿Se lo vieron allá por el módulo? Casi nunca. Poco. Ajá. Hardly ever. Raramente. Nosotros en español no hablamos así. De vez en cuando dice uno. Right? So that would be in lo típico salvadoreño. Right? But hardly ever. Eh, algunas veces. Ok. Hardly ever. So that is a... Adverb of frequency. ¿Se acuerdan de los adverbios de frecuencia, right? So that's an adverb of frequency. So I hardly ever exercise. So I'm going to read just one time and then some of you are going to practice the conversation. It says right here, uh, you're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift it weights for an hour seriously sure and then uh i often go in a lime skating whoa how often do you exercise like that about five times a week what about you oh i hardly ever exercise i usually just watch tv in my free time i guess I'm a real coach potato. Okay. So do we have new words right here? Do we have any new word that you don't know? Or everything is clear. Remember that every time that you see a new word, please write it down. Anote palabra nueva que usted vea. Okay. So new words right here. Go ahead with the question. Hello, hello, go ahead. Mami. Hola. Ajá, Jennifer. ¿Cómo se dice? I guess. Así como lo I get up. This one, I get up early. No. Eh, la última parte de Mary. De Mary, I usually, I hardly ever, I guess. I guess. I usually, I guess. 
Okay, I, I guess. guessed. I guessed I am a real couch okay. potato. Okay, nice. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, Any thanks. other work? Alguna otra palabra que usted no entienda en el contexto de la conversación? Eh, sería también I en the stop Paul, la segunda parte. Le dice So, and then I often go in line is guiding okay sure okay right here sure. sure and then and then i often go in a lime skating so que es una lime skating mire aquí en la imagen right so él va a patinaje okay sobre las ruedas y eh, normalmente pues eso va sincronizado so él va Algunas veces hacer este deporte. Ok, line, uh, line office. My goodness, my camera is kind of weird. Let me turn it off and turn me miro como un espanto. My God. So, nice. Ajá. No new words, so let's practice. So, vamos a ver quién. No sé por qué mi cámara se pone extraña. Let me see right here. I guess it's the internet connection. I don't know. Cuando, como que cuando me acerco mucho. Okay. So. Sorry. Teacher. Uh, mm -hmm, go ahead. Donde, dis, donde dice. And I leave it wait for an hour. Es. Y levanto pesas por una hora. Mm -hmm. Y practico, right? Es el lift. Ajá, es el lift, es como. Y me entretengo ahí, ¿verdad? Haciendo pesas ahí, pasando el tiempo ahí, eh, una y otra, right? So y ahí, es, ahí dice L-I-F-I, Lifi. Eh, es que no, no, no veo bien, está borroso. Sí, esa palabrita, este. I guess. Mavera. Sí. Sí. Uh -huh. Alguien se lo puede, no sé, creo que mi internet sí. está un poco extraño porque se me frisa la cámara. Ajá, uh -huh. that's L-I-F-T, I guess. Put it there in the chat. Alguien creo que ya lo puso. Ahí está. Left. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Brian. So, yeah, that's the way it is. Okay. So... I'm sorry if I turn off my camera, but I guess I have issues with the internet connection. I don't know because it's kind of uh, freezing. But the important thing is if that you can listen very clear. So let's practice these conversations. Let's see, uh, Cesar Alexandra, please uh, be Paul. Um, let's see, vamos a ver. Um, Jacqueline Liliana, please be Mary. Okay, so you will be Mary and Cesar will be Paul. So go ahead. You are really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I live in wait for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go to go go in line skating. Well, how how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a real couch potato. Okay, nice. Thank you, and Jacqueline and Cesar. Very nice. So remember, punctuation in English is very important, right? So if you see a question mark, so you need to sound like a question mark. If you see an exclamation mark, so you need to sound with an exclamation. If you see a comma, period, so we need to follow the um, the punctuation, right? So let's see. At the in the last part, let's see Ana Patricia. 
The last part, when I say, I guess I am a real couch potato, what is the meaning of that? So what is the meaning of that expression? I guess I am a real couch potato. Uh, I guess I am. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Mm -hmm. If I go to any place and I say that expression, so that is like a um, real American expression, right? So we have our own style, Salvadorian style, right? But this one is, you know, American English expression. So let's see, Freddy. Freddy Jose, help us. Ayude, ayudele a Patricia. Ayúdenos. Aha, uh -huh. what okay. is that expression, Freddy? If I say, I guess I am a really couch potato. Uh, la expresión de, ese, de esa hmm, frase. That phrase. Aha, uh -huh. what is the, the meaning of, the, what is the idea? Uh, I guess I am with coach potato. Es como está escuchando a un, a un instructor o algo así. Que oh, yeah. un... No, not really, not really. Brian, Brian no va a salvar. Ayúdenos. Teacher, I, I am, I see what, the, what is the meaning. The, oh, this very nice, Patricia. Go ahead. And it's like me. When I <laughs> stay in, in, in my sofa, uh, nadie me levanta. ¿Cómo digo eso? <laughs> Ajá. Okay. <laughs> Remember that the conversation is about exercise. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. La conversación todo está hablando de ejercicio y el que hace eh, pesas y que va a hacer el patinaje y que es tantas horas y tantos días a la semana. Right? That is the conversation. So, Janet. Jacqueline, go ahead. Creo que dice como, creo que soy un, realmente un saco de papas o algo así. Ah, that would be the literal translation, right? Esa es como la traducción literal. Si yo traduzco, like, palabra por palabra, yo creo que yo soy realmente un saco de papas. Esa es la sí, traducción. Ah, okay. Así como dijo Ana Patricia, that's like me when I'm sitting in the sofa, like three hours watching a series on Netflix, and I'm there. So instead of be doing exercise, cleaning the house, so we are just there, araganeando, right? So that would be the expression, right? So no es literal que la mujer ahí ve un costal de papa. No, es una expresión muy de ellos cuando alguien les diga a usted, you know what, I'm a really a couch potato. No es que le esté diciendo, mira, yo soy un saco de papa, le está diciendo, soy aragán. ¿Verdad? Nosotros... Aquí vi una, una traducción que dice, Ajá. supongo que soy un verdadero teleadicto. Ah, ok. So you see different translations, pero en las palabras bien nuestras, nuestras salvadorians, right? Un aragán, un perezoso, ahí que está araganeando el domingo que no se levanta solo para comer, right? So that would be, porque mire lo, la comparison, right? El pobre hombre ahí, Paul, y dice que va cinco días a hacer eso del skating y que de tantas horas está haciendo ejercicio. So, en otra Feliz ahí, watching TV, just chilling, right? So that would be the expression. So usted puede decir, no, ¿verdad? Por, porque lo sea, sino la expresión, el ejemplo, right? Lo que estamos hablando, I'm a really couch potato, right? So quiere decir que usted es poco para mover el, el, el cuerpo, para hacer alguna actividad de ejercicio, right? So let's see. Because of the time, we are going to continue, okay? So, but uh, for the next conversation that we will see, so we are going to create like small groups para que todos puedan practicar, porque me interesa que todos practiquen, pero el tiempo pasa rápido, okay? So, ya por el tiempo no vamos a seguir con, con la conversation. So, let's see. Adverse of frequency, okay? Let's see. Sin ver. Ajá, vamos a ver. 
Uh, which adverb of frequency do you remember? Let's see. Vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado este día. Y cuánta gente hay aquí sin cámara. Santo Dios. Bueno, eh, let's see. Um, Benjamin, tell me an adverb of frequency. Adverb of frequency that you remember. Solo uno. Always. Always, very nice, always. Aha, very nice. So, adverbs of frequency, so adverbio de frecuencia. So, an adverb, it's a word that can be like helping the verb, helping the sentence, right? And um, it's an expression that can help us to uh, say the time, the frequency that we do something. Uh, Cesar, go ahead. Sometimes. Very nice. Sometimes, okay? Sometimes. So, adverbs of frequency, adverbios de frecuencia, okay? Esto van a denotar la, la veces que yo hago algo, okay? Las veces, la frecuencia con la que yo repito algo, okay? So, we do have some examples right here. So let's see, um, Edgar, help us with the reading. Read, please, uh, the first uh, question right here. Okay. How often do you exercise? Okay. How often do you exercise? The second one, this one, the next one, continue. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Okay, ahí vamos, okay, do you ever, so we can identify the, um, the adverse, okay, I'm going to share also a picture with the adverse, okay, that we have, and we have like the percentage, aquí no aparece así, por eso le mandé ahí uno para que usted tenga como la idea del porcentaje al que equivale, okay, si yo le digo, you know, I always study before the class, Okay, que eso quiere decir que no matter what, yo siempre voy a estudiar porque ah, always means 100%, okay? And never will be the opposite, right? Zero percent. I never uh, sleep late. Nunca me duermo tarde, right? So then we have more adverse of frequency, right? Like usually, sometimes, hardly ever, um, almost never, often, almost always, okay? And uh, we have like generally, seldom, occasionally, frequently, normally, hardly ever. And we have one that it's once in a blue moon. Do you know the adverb of frequency once in a blue moon? ¿Quién sabe ese adverbio de frecuencia? Levante la manita. Uh -huh. mm, nadie. Una vez al, como al, una vez al, al, al tiempo, algo así. Once in a blue moon, ok, thank you. Once in a blue moon, ok. No me traduzca. Alguien me dijo una vez en la luna azul. No, jamás, ok. So, once in a blue moon es una expresión bien de ellos. Ah, viene alguien y le dice un americano, you know what, once in a blue moon my work. So, nosotros en el español tenemos unas palabras bien coloquiales, right? So, nunca, nunca he escuchado a usted que le dicen, ay, cuando San Juan para el dedo, right? So, yo leo, ok? So, es una expresión bien nuestra. Usted le dice a un americano, Cuando San Juan para el dedo, el dedo lo mata. Se queda el pobre americano en la luna porque es una palabra bien salvadorian, right? So, bien nuestra. So, the same once in a blue moon means hay um, un de dice uno, right? Así como una expresión como rara veces, right? So, once in a blue moon. That's really, um, not really that often, right? So please um, keep in mind the adverse of frequency and you need to keep in mind the percentage, right? So usted me dice, I sometimes, usted sabe que me está diciendo 50-50, right? So ese es el porcentaje. Si usted me quiere decir que usted 
en un 80%, ahí puede usar el usually, almost, always, por ahí. Usted me quiere decir que no es cero, pero no es 50, so almost never, seldom, uh, occasionally, por ahí más o menos. So, let's see, what else we have right here? I lift uh, weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often or I don't exercise very much. So these ones are also expressions that can express frequency, right? Usted puede usar esto, okay? Ya no, usted a este nivel ya no me va a decir uh, one time in the week, okay? So yo le entiendo una vez a la semana, pero la expresión that would be once a week. Yo entiendo que usted me diga uh, two times in a month. No está incorrecto. No está incorrecto, pero es una palabra como bien traducida del español al inglés. Usted me dice twice a month, okay? So, and I understand that it's two times, right? And so on and so on and so on. Then we have right here the other examples. Um, yes, I often, este often, por si alguien ya me ha dicho que usted dice often y a veces dice often, ¿cuál es el bueno? Los dos, <laughs> okay? Both, British, American, right? Si usted escucha a alguien que dice, I often... No vaya a decir, este no puede. No, oh, sí está bien. Usted escucha a alguien que dice, I often, it's okay. Okay, the two of them are correct. So I always try to say like American, right? So I often uh, watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. So, um, are we clear in this part? Do you get all the idea right here? Vamos bien con los adverbs of frequency. Okay, so let's see. Give me an example. Vamos a ver. Um, vamos a ver. Elisa Areli. So give me an example, any sentence, any subject, any adverb of frequency. Okay, go ahead. Un ejemplo dice con, con... using using uh, any adverb of frequency can be any subject, okay? No importa el sujeto. Eh, for, for example, I often hit things. I often eat, o sea, comer beans. Okay, it's perfect. I often eat beans for dinner. Más completita la oración, right? For dinner, for breakfast. Nice. Uh, let's see another example. Vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado este día, que todo le tengo que preguntar. Pero, eh, Freddy, ya le pregunté, pero mi modo, le vamos a preguntar otra vez, Freddy. Okay. Give me an example, so... please. How many? Uh, how many times do you go to the mall a week? Okay, how many times do you go to the mall every week? Every week. Every okay, week. every week, okay? Nice, that's a question, okay? And that, that's a question that we can answer with a adverb of frequency, how many times? That would be like a countable, countable question, okay? Nice, thank you. The last one. Yo sé que todos ya tienen ahí en la mente su, su oración, ¿verdad? Pero no le puedo preguntar a todos por el tiempo. Pero usted, eh, cuando sea así, usted anote. Usted no espere, ay, voy a esperar que me pregunte. Si, me, si no me pregunta, no la hago. No, usted tiene ahí en qué anotar, ¿verdad? Sabe que somos más de 20 y no le puedo preguntar a todos porque se nos acaba la hora rápido. Pero usted, 
en el momento. Bueno, por si me pregunto, no, yo escribo una, dos, tres ejemplos rapidito aquí, eh, usando el, el, el tema, lo que sea que se esté viendo, right? So, let's see. Elsie, Patricia, my goodness, what happened to you? You work without the camera. Uh, teacher, I, I'm working. <laughs> oh, really? You are working? Sí. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I was kind of, my God, why else it's without camera? Because you are always with the camera, but I didn't ask you because I didn't know, right? But it's okay, no problem. If you are working, don't worry, okay? So let's see, uh, Janet, Jacqueline, an example, the last one. Um, how often do you play? basketball okay that's a question how often or how often do you play uh, basketball okay very nice so what we are going to complete this my goodness we have four minutes only but we have to put the adverbs in the correct place so this is important okay so we need to know where is the adverb in the sentence okay el adverbio no lo voy a poner a lo loco. Ay, yo aquí, yo voy a decir, I never, y después el, no, no es donde yo lo quiero poner, es donde va, ok, el adverbio de frecuencia, ok. So, that, that, that will be the exercise, but probably we are not going to complete this um, activity today because of the time, but we are going to continue tomorrow, right? So, tengo cuatro minutos y necesito hacer el comercial. Uh, tomorrow we are going to continue with this, right? So vamos a ver eh, si ponemos ahí en, en, en orden estas oraciones y, y continuamos por acá, ok? Creando más. Eh, sorry que my camera, it's not my camera, I guess it's the internet connection, porque no creo que la cámara me esté fallando, pero, pero no sé, voy a revisar porque miren, de repente le le pasan como colores. So, sorry, but uh, tomorrow we have class. Antes de que se me vaya, eh, mañana hay clase. Por favor, conéctese, ¿verdad? Yo sé que estamos a veces programados de lunes a jueves y cuando de repente es el viernes, pues eh, no es que no quiera, sino que hay actividades o usted está pues que su trabaje ese día, qué sé yo, pero de alguna o de otra manera trate de conectarse. Si usted tiene problemas porque va a estar trabajando, no porque va a estar en una fiesta, sino porque va a estar trabajando o algo, este, puede escribirme. No para que le dé permiso, sino que usted se conecta, aunque esté ahí, ¿verdad? Medio como de cuerpo presente, pero, pero está ahí. La herramienta Zoom le va a traquear que usted estuvo presente. Uh, lo que usted puede hacer es ponerme un mensajito. Mire, fíjese que yo estoy trabajando, pero póngame el nombre. Porque a veces me ponen, mire, yo no voy a estar. Y yo no sé si es de este, la, del, del grupo de las 7, si es el de las 8, el de las 9, el de las 10, y aquí adivino, no puedo ser. Entonces usted póngame, mire, yo tengo este problema o esta de emergencia, soy de tal hora, soy de tal grupo y me llamo fulanito. Ah, entonces vengo yo y ya reviso ahí en asistencia, pero sí, si no me pone el nombre, el nombre yo cómo voy a saber quién es. Ok, so, eso, pero mañana tenemos clase. Eh, antes que se vayan, tengo que validar la asistencia. Tengo dos minutos nada más y si sí, hay varias personas que no me contestaron al inicio. Confírmeme, por favor, si está Cristina América. Cristina América no está. Eh, Elsie Patricia. Ahí está. I am here. Sure. Nice. Freddy José, ahí está también. Present. Nice. Gabriela María. Creo que no. Uh, Griselda Lisset. Griselda Lisset. No. Eh, Ivania Stephanie. Ivania Stephanie. No. Jacqueline Liliana. Present coach. Nice, Jacqueline Liliana. Bien, eh, bueno, hay varios ahí que faltan. Espero que no se hayan 
este, ido huyendo de mí, ¿verdad? Porque no tiene que ser eso. Usted tranquilo, usted no se estrese, ¿verdad? Sino que más bien tenemos que progresar. Esa es la idea. Yo tengo que presionarlo a usted para que usted hable. Porque si usted solo me está viendo, si el que tiene que hablar es usted, no yo. ¿Ok? El que tiene que practicar es usted. Entonces, yo tengo que de una de otra manera cucharaditas irle sacando. Entonces, eh, no, no tenga miedo, ¿verdad? Que yo de virtual no le puedo pegar a nadie. Mentira, ni, ni en presente, no puedo. Pero eh, tranquilo, ¿verdad? Me, me sorprende que hay varias faltas por ahí. Ojalá que no se me hayan espantado ayer. Pero bueno, eh, time is over. Ok, tomorrow we have class. Vienen mañana, no me van a dar a mí sola aquí en la videoconferencia hablando con la cámara. Please, vienen mañana, una hora hay que hacer el esfuerzo y eh, luego tenemos el weekend, ¿ok? So, trabajemos en la plataforma, no espere que le digan, mire, va atrasado, usted vaya adelante de lo que le están pidiendo para que no le vayan a poner ahí en la lista negra, ¿verdad? Y mandan ellos, fulanito, sutanito, menganito, no ha trabajado. Entonces... Aunque un pelito le falta, ellos mandan a decir que usted no ha hecho nada. Y aunque no se hace, entonces para evitar aparecer en la lista de los más buscados en el grupo, eh, vaya usted trabajando, vaya usted haciendo su plataforma y evitamos, ¿verdad? Que aparezca en la lista de los más buscados. Bien, so, uh, si ha hecho morito, go ahead. Eh, fíjese que yo tenía una duda y mandé en el chat sobre una, en la plataforma sobre un ítem. Ah, ok, déjenme verificar. Eh, ya voy a ver ahí en el sí. grupo y, bueno. y siempre que eh, tengan alguna duda, pónganme el número del ejercicio para yo ubicarlo más rápido, porque como tengo otro grupo y para saber de cuál de todos, las, de todos es, pónganme ahí el, okay. el ejercicio 1.4, qué sé yo, así yo me voy directo, ¿ok? So, mándemelo ahí, porfa. Gracias. So, okay. see you tomorrow, ¿ok? See you tomorrow, good night, bye bye, take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Good night, take care. Bye bye, see you tomorrow. Good night, see you tomorrow.